today is uh, called Crisis of Parliamentary Democracy, Methodologies and Transformative Power of the Protests. And we have uh, guests for, uh, from uh, four uh, different countries, four different social contexts, context. so we will try to rethink this issue from four different uh, social backgrounds, but of course we are talking about the same thing. So um, uh, 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 we started from the idea that, the, uh, uh, that we are facing the crisis of, of uh, notion of the representation of the politics, uh, which can be seen at least at three levels. Um, uh, first level is what we see on demonstrations on the streets every day, more or less in the whole world, uh, with the motto, nobody represents us. So if we read from the streets, we can see that the, one of the most important demand is rethinking of the representation of the representation of politics. Uh, then we can see it also in a way uh, uh, in the uh, abstention as a choice, as a professional English speaker told me. Uh, so it's, it's a, a, like a, 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 we see that situation that majority of people you don't go to vote anymore. Actually, we have a situation that minority of people like decide in the concept of democracy when the demos or people should be should decide about the situation. So we have a situation where demos is actually a very small group of people who are going to vote. So the the, the institute of, of, of election is in crisis. The parliamentary uh, democracy concept is in crisis. And also, as I checked with the sociologist, we can say that then the social contract as a, as a concept is in crisis. So, but of course, the answer should not, I think, like just encouraging people to go to vote is not a solution, I think, anymore. So we can rethink also the methodologies how to approach this issue. And the third point, I think, uh, is also a productive public debate that is raised about these issues today. And our debate today is also part of, of, of this um, of this process. So um, uh, we will hear four, four different uh, opini opinions about this issue. Um, uh, what we are interested here to, uh, uh, to, to talk about it is uh, to hear some concrete examples, experiences and analysis from four different countries, um, having in mind this very same symptom. And uh, we are specifically interested in various methodologies which can lead to this transformation of the political from the parliamentary, from parliamentarism to something else. And if we can say what is some, that something else, maybe it can be called the process of reclaiming the political power uh, back to people, or a process of discovering the political power by the people in themselves and then using that power. And just to say one more thing with that, reclaiming the political power by the people also, we have in real life, we are facing the process of criminalization. And I think that uh, then we have uh, the same situation in, 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 each, in every country, like criminalization with the processes of reclaiming the political power back to people. So maybe you will tackle this issue as well. I think in Slovenia, it's a very important issue. Uh, in Croatia as well, as, as we talked a few weeks ago, so uh, maybe, maybe it would be nice also 